Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's Section 5 matchup between the undefeated 3-0 Hornell Red Raiders as they host the 1-4 Bath Haverlane Rams. I'm Bob Placher, along with Joe Flint, broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. Like I said, Hornell coming in at 3-0, an ugly game on the road at Leroy. I mean, I taped that game. You saw it live here on Place Sports. Hopefully they play a lot better today. Yeah, I talked to Co Coach Scholes. He said they really struggled over there with any consistency at all. So they're 3-0, but let's get back on track and with uh, uh, doing the things that they need to do to be successful out there. Better shot selection would be number one. And you know Bath always has great athletes. I mean, the, the, obviously a powerhouse soccer team. A lot of the soccer team on this team here in basketball. So you know <laughs> they're going to be running and gunning down the court. One and four probably really doesn't give us a real indication what we're going to see here tonight out of Bath. And, and Bath historically is up and down in basketball. There's been years where they've been really yeah. good and really competitive, but then there's a lot of years they struggle. So. Yep. Okay, and here we go. <laughs> Both of them coming down as ball goes to Binkowski. I don't know if you can say anybody won that tip. <laughs> <laughs> it was ugly. It started out ugly already, Joe. Uh, ooh, I'm sorry, Jackson with his hands on Binkowski there. Cornell in a man to man. Tried to do a little give and go yep. there. Ball sent through the center of the. No one home is. Bath Haverling starting three juniors and two seniors. Uh, Hornell's got the same thing. Yep. Yeah, Piccolo and. Liberto, the only seniors for Hornell, so. Yeah, Tommy Piccolo leading the Raiders in three-point field goal percentage at 27%. That's number 21, Jordan Dietz. Yeah, Dietz has got a good, strong inside move that time for the easy deuce. Oh, the right hand that time by a little, Freeland. A little push in the back. There yep. you go, Chase Friedland hustling. Yeah, that's what, that's what we talk about. Best player on the court, I think. We can all agree, and there's a long shot by Jackson White has been really struggling from three-point land this year. Yeah, right now he's at 21%. So, but uh, the key is, I don't mind, and we've talked about this in the past, I don't mind him shooting the three, right. but just be a little more selective in a shot. And, yeah. and he really started off on the wrong foot. There's a good steal by Jackson White, anticipation. Now, according to the stat sheet, it says Jackson only has one assist. I know that's wrong. He's had some great passes in the games I've watched. Look at Liberto, count it. I don't know if that's a Euro step. That might be like a- uh, <laughs> Asia step. <laughs> uh, we gotta come up with a South American step. I don't know. Well, and, and what this Hornell team's gotta understand is when you are the better team, your shot selection is even more important. You're going to keep a team like Bath in the game by taking bad shots. Right, right, right. Completes the old-fashioned three-pointer. Yep. A good hustle by Stutzman that time. Well, bad shots kind of negate your turnovers. You yeah. know, you're creating turnovers, whatever, and then you go down and take a bad shot. Bath in a zone defense. Nice inside look, perfect job that time. Yeah, I think they, if they're just patient, they can pick this part, uh, this team apart. Well, you mentioned that Bath has a lot of soccer players. That look. Uh, so I don't know how timeout apparently, but. I don't know if that was a call timeout or is that an injury timeout? Or? No, I think it was a call timeout. I think he looked over and gave him the sign. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how that works, but somehow it worked. <laughs> Today's game brought to you by the Ryan Agency's offices in Hornell, Jasper, and Wellsville. Call 324-7500, stopping at 57 Broadway. 
Insurance protection you can rely on the Ryan agencies. Today's game also brought to you by Main Street Redemption Center. Open seven days a week, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, Saturday and Sunday. Get your cans and bottles in the Main Street Redemption Center today. And John and Dagan, general trial practice, serving the Southern Tier since 1989. Call 324-6690, John and Dagan. So Chase Freeland. Piccolo to Freeland over in the corner there. White's gonna be hanging out. Cross, look at the Liberto. Ali Oop doesn't work, but he stays in there and puts up the left. Just like the first game we did here in Hornell, I think uh, Liberto's gonna have a big game. We just talked about the maturation of <laughs> Liberto, you know, he's just been very, and a foul on the inside by Liberto. You know, I think that, that maybe last year Vinny was such a team player, and I don't mean he's not this year, but such a team player. He, he, he played his role last year. He did what Coach Schools asked him to do. Yeah. Now his role definitely has to be a larger role. Right. Yeah, I agree. They just didn't need him to score last year, and they absolutely yeah. need him to score this year. Yeah, yeah. He just looks so smooth. Just everything's just worked out for him. You know what I mean? He's smooth and yep. just very confident. Very confident player in there today. I'd like to see Tanner Stutzman get get uh, you know a little bit more into the offense. Yeah, I agree. White for three, no good. They call it travel. I didn't think he had possession on the way down, so I thought it was loose on the way down, so I don't think that'd be a travel, but. Yeah. What do I know? I don't know much, <laughs> but I know I love you. <laughs> Doing that Pable Bryson, and I can't remember. <laughs> I can't right. remember who sang that song. Nice oh, inside gosh. look that time. Yeah, number 25, Blake Hess with the basket. Everybody kind of left him alone, and the bat did a good job of finding it. comes down with that. Seven to four on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Nice bounce pass. It looked like Hess stutter stepped a little bit there for travel, but no call. Comes down harmlessly to Freeland. Stutzman, the kick out. Chase for three. Yeah, and even last year, he was a lot better three-point shooter than he showed so far this year. He's been a little cold from the three-point line, but let's see if Chase can get it back going. That's a good take by White. You know, I think he got bumped yeah. out of bounds, but. Yeah, it, it didn't work out, but he yeah. made the defense move, and we were going to get an open look. <laughs> Callum Bish in the end of the game for Hornell, as well as Timmy Smith. Callum Bish coming off that knee injury. Mm -hmm. and he, then he injured himself there, remember, in the first game. Yeah, he landed funny in it. He's been out. Yep. For, this is his first game back that I remember. I don't remember him being in it. And what Callum brings, he brings height and the ability to run the run the offense. Yep. He ran the offense as a, as a on the JV team, so he, if they need him to do that, he can do that. Nice take that time. That was a nice take by number 24, Alex Sestak. Sestak. Sestak, yep. sorry. <laughs> That's the way I was taught. Nice, nice pass. Oh, beautiful. Not only nice pass, nice cut by, by Bish. Bish. The 
like I said, what you do without the ball is just important as what you do with the ball. Just like that, Timmy Smith yep. up front. Liberto lays it up. Decided not to dunk the ball, Joe. Coach Baker a little upset with his team. I, I think it's it's not an effort thing with them. I just no. think it was, uh, you know, ball handling wise, they're going to struggle a little bit against the pressure Hornell defense. They are. I agree. Today's game is brought to you by Maple City Dodge. Get up and check out the winter blowout specials going on on the lot at Maple City Dodge Chrysler Jeep. Great sales, great service. Airport Road in North Hornell, Maple City Dodge. And by Mike Palmer, plumbing and heating. Need a plumber? Call Palmer, Mike Palmer. Call 698-4444. Stop in it. State Route 36 in Canisteo. Wyan Chiropractic, Dr. John Wine, Dr. Joseph McKay. 20 Park Drive in Hornell, call 324-7246. Wyan Chiropractic, get well and stay well with a visit to Wyan Chiropractic. Hornell in that 3-2 half court press. Outside shot, nothing there. Oh, he had a good save. Uh, unable to. Oh, nice pass by Colin Bish. Yeah. Like I said, he can do a little bit of everything, and he's grown, so he's all, he also can rebound. Smith into the game for Hornell. Mm -hmm. 19 to 6 on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Freeland in and out. That's good hustle by Timmy Smith. Oh, and Timmy thought well, but didn't execute it well that time. Oh, nice. Freeland got a piece of that way. Good job. Yep. I'd like to see Timmy Smith get a little more selfish with the basketball. Yeah. yeah. I know he always looks past first, but there's times it looks like he's got an opportunity for a putback himself. I mean, if, if there was anyone that was selfish, it was you. You would know. Can <laughs> <laughs> Steele back in 1982. <laughs> or 84, whatever it was. <laughs> there we go, Timmy. Oh. Oh. Okay, what I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> wow, because I, even looking at the stats earlier, uh, yeah, the number of shots he's put up this year is very few. Yeah. And he's taking more three pointers than two pointers, and I just don't think that suits what we're trying to do. Uh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, Binkowski caught between passing and dribbling. Nothing worse. That's always like, you want to, all of a sudden your guy cuts through the lane and you were going to pass it to him outside. But yep. if, you, if, you were, if you wanted to highlight one advantage Hornell has over Bath, it's ball handling. Yes. <clears throat> which is the case a lot with some of the teams that Hornell plays in the league. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, unable to come up with something there, but. Yep, 18 seconds left. They're gonna hold for one shot. Nice give and go. Not. Oh, I just couldn't get it to fall. Connor Smith has it. Colin. Bam! Nice shot by Colin Bitch. So that's going to take us to the second. So you want to review your insurance and see if you're getting the best deal. You could call that big brand insurance company. But the big name company can only provide one thing, what they're locked into selling you. 
But the Ryan Agency is your local independent agency offering options from many top insurance companies. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agency. If you get hurt at work, call 262 COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Today's game brought to you by Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Offices in Buffalo and Rochester, proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders as we watch the cheerleaders. From behind, unfortunately. See Reggie Gambino's back in control here. Of course, our thoughts and prayers are going out to Martha Marino and her family. Yep. Longtime supporter here of us and what we do. Cornell Gardens, a whole butt care community since 1970. Long term care facility, short term rehab, 434 Monroe Avenue. Make sure you call 324-7740 Hornell Gardens. First Heritage Federal Credit Union opened up their newest branch on the corners of Mays and Seneca Street in Hornell. More than just checking and savings. Find out all the financial services that First Heritage can offer you by stopping in today. Airtight of New York.com, spray foam insulation, 368-2842, located right here in Hornell, New York. Commercial, residential, new and old constructions, attic additions, Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation. And Poulos and Rizal, Tim Rosell, Bill Poulos. Offices at, in the Crossroads Professional Building on Main Street in Hornell. Give Poulos and Rizal a call today, 324-73-33. A lot of threes there. Oh, Callum Bish right all over the 131, letting everybody know. Change in defense. The kick out, White. Not good. White on the inside gets blocked. Kick out. I like the ball movement like we talked about. Oh, second one Timmy tried to force. It gets stolen away. And going to be, oh. And I don't know about that yeah, one. Yeah, he, he leaned backwards. Yeah, he did. Well, and the, the coach for Bath, uh, Bill Baker, used to be a referee, so. Yeah. At least that's my memory, right? Is, was he a referee for quite a few years? It could be, I don't remember. Yeah, I think he was. Again, let's stay disciplined, Hornell. Let's not get into, just because you're up 22 to six, let's not start canning up three-point shots. Yeah, I agree. That's it. Or not, uh, actually, Bass done a pretty good job of, of deflecting a lot of Hornell passes so far. Jackson White got a got a piece of that ball out of, out of bounds on Hornell. Lost some control of our scoreboard here, so our scoreboard's not right. It's actually 22 to six. There we go. Apologize, our score was wrong. It's 22 to 6 Hornell. That's a good job by Jack Jackson changing up the offense by getting into the paint and dishing it out. Yep. Oh, it's stolen away. Stop and pop, bam. If he makes that shot, teams are in trouble because he can get that shot almost any time he yeah. wants to. Nice, nice pass. pass. Yep. Good defense that time by Piccolo. Nice 
Nice recovery by Freeland. Oh, underneath, but... I think he was surprised it made it all the way there. And nice inside shot. That's yes, number 25, Blake Hass again with the basket. He's just hanging out in there. Yeah. And Hornell's playing a little bit of too much help. We're leaving Blake alone. White. Yeah, that's 24, Alex Sestak with the steal. He's had a number of steals today. Tommy Pickle is one of those guys that just plays good fundamental defense. Moves his feet great. He doesn't reach. No. Yes and no. <laughs> he plays good fundamentals and he doesn't reach. Well, it doesn't show up in the staff sheet, but he has great defensive form. That allows some of the guys that cheat a little bit an advantage when you got someone that takes care of his man. Pickle has a nice shot, you know yes, what I mean? Just, that one just almost there, just didn't, didn't go in. Right now it's been much better when we get it inside than kick it out to our three-point shooters. It's hard to hit a three-point shot when you're swinging it around the outside. Yeah. Oh, offensive. Oh, offensive. I was kind of hoping at some point the high school goes to the circle underneath the basket. Yeah. Would be nice. Today's game brought to you by Elderwood at Hornell offers comprehensive personal, personalized care through a variety of programs such as orthopedic, cardiac, and post-surgical rehab programs including physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Call 324-6690 for a tour today. Jillio's Plumbing and Heating, Air Conditioning, Cooling, you name it, they do it at 382-0836, Jillio's. Plumbing and heating. So are you going to be available for the game Saturday against Pembroke? It's in the afternoon, uh, I think 3 o'clock start, or are you going to be decorating Christmas tr uh, cookies or something? Well, I'm installing a hardwood floor in the house. Oh, you are? I should uh, I should be here. <laughs> I'll be due. I'll be due for a break right around then. <laughs> right. Make sure you take a shower. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Is Pembroke uh, have a fairly decent record? Or? I don't really know okay. much about Pembroke. We'll do a little research at halftime. We can go on the computer here and learn more about Pembroke. But the smart thing is not to look ahead past this, past this game, no, though, Joe. not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anything could happen here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful job, Chase. He plays like a six-footer, you know what I mean? Yep. Finally, White yes. hits one. Jackson. Good job. Look at that. Jeez. Chase. <laughs> I guess they say it's on the floor, like it was on the pass. They're lucky they got the call. I didn't see it. They call it jump ball there? They call it travel. Oh, travel. Yeah, yeah, he did a little bit of a hop step. White. Anthony Falco joining us from Tom Adams, Shannon Davis. 
Cornell up 27 to eight here. Yep. And if I'm Coach Scholes, I'm preaching shot, shot, selection the rest of this game. Yes. Cornell's going to need to have that discipline when they play better teams. Nice steal, but it, on a hold, okay. I was going to say, I thought maybe a double dribble, but it was a hold that caused that from yep. Jackson White. Chris, assistant coaches for Hornauer, Mike Wilkinson and Sean Curran. I'm unfamiliar with Sean Curran. Which... Well, he's the he's not here, I don't think. Oh, okay. He, oh, he right. Is the, yeah, he's, the, right. Uh, he's, he's the, uh, from the Tribune. Okay. And he coaches the Modified oh, Program okay. for right. Joe Walters. Doesn't do it this year. Thrown okay. away by White that time. Up front. Nice little shot. That good hustle by Sam Arns. Arns, another one of those big athletes for... Oh, he's a big soccer player? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, Arns, yeah, I think he is, yep. I think they all are. He Arns, or is? <laughs> he Arns, he is. I'm sure he's heard that a hundred yeah, times. Sure. <laughs> Underneath, I like the way they kick the ball around. Yep. Always guessing. Jackson White for three. Maybe that'll get Jackson going. Thirty to ten, stolen away, and look at all numbers. Hornell White, perfect shot. And the pressure defense kind of taking its toll on Bath. Yeah, up front to White. Timeout, Bath. You just don't want. Where's she going? <laughs> uh, she's got a. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna start got prepping. Papers, she's gonna be prepping the floor. Is she for you? <laughs> <laughs> she's got papers to grade. <laughs> there she is, right? We're gonna put her live on TV. Your wife. She's heading home. It looks like. Uh, she doesn't feel good. So yeah, that's she, all right. Make sure next time when she makes the Christmas cookies, we want them here. All right. <laughs> Oops! Gotta stop the clock. Uh, what is it, 34-10? Joe, what do you think? Well, like I said, I, I think Hornell's done a pretty good job of being a little more patient. Uh, they're trying to whip the basketball around, trying to get an open shot, and I think their three-point selection, as far as the, the type of three-pointers they've been shooting, has been better than in the past games. Yeah. Dave Freeland turning in, or tuning in from Vestal, New York. Hi, Dave. Thought I might see it down at the south side tonight, but apparently not. Isaac Bradley, Bradley online. Yeah. yeah. Remember, the last dunk I think I remember seeing here was from Bradley, remember? Yeah. They so we show now Isaac, if you're still watching, they have a big video board and they've been showing that highlight on there. I'm gonna zoom in um, for the games. That dunk. Sticking in the man-to-man. -man. Good defense by Connor Smith. Got five on the shot clock. And good tie up that time by Connor Smith. Another one that you don't see his name a lot, but I tell you what, he's always in there doing yeah, something. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. No, no. You never say, hey, you know what, you know, bad pass by Connor or this or that. He's just always there doing good things. Shot. Oh, nice try. Nice shot by number 15, Arntz. Coming down with Piccolo for the rebound. Colin Bish with the basketball. Nice pass by Colin. Oh, that time Connor yeah, tried I to, had to rush it, I think, because he knew the defender was coming up on him. But I think he expected a little contact and then didn't get any. And what we always say about that, though, I, we hate that. I hate it. Don't, ex you know, just go up there with the layup. You never know. And that time, thinking he was going to get contact, he airmailed it, you know. Airballed it. Well, prior to this game, as far as rebounds, uh, Vinny Liberto is leading the team with 26, and then has tied for second with Chase and Tanner. So Chase is in there with 19, and so is Tanner. But he, he, he's right up there as far as team leader in rebounds. 
as well as well. So And like we say about you know when your point guards in the top of all stats, including rebounding, you know you got one heck of a point guard there because he always puts himself in great positions. Yeah, he just never stands around. He's always right. gonna be doing something. One, Jordan Dietz. I'm sure he hears Mr. Dietz. <laughs> what, is, what is that, a movie? I don't even it's know. It's like a Adam Sandler. No, no wonder I don't know anything about it. I've never been a big fan of his comedy. I think it's Dietz. I don't know. That was Deeds. Isn't it Deeds? I'm sure you'll start getting comments <laughs> on the... <laughs> Little behind. There's Connor Smith. Yep. No, that was a, that was a, a nice three-point shot. That was one we we pushed it inside, didn't have it, and kicked it out to the open shooter. Yep. Cornell on that three-two half-court press. Twenty-five. Blake Hess was the rebound and the putback. He's been steady for Bath. Yeah, he has. So. Keeps working on, working inside. Did Bath get far in the sectionals? They went quite a ways in soccer this year. Yeah, I, I don't think they won states, but I think they got eliminated in like the sem state semifinals, uh, I'm thinking. We'll check that on that at halftime also. Yeah, yeah. Get out your phone and Google it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice thought, but. A little too hard, and I don't. And, what, and one other thing, I don't think Ethan had his hands up either. You always got to have your hands expecting the ball, and it was a little high too. But one second. Oh, wow! I think they're I went in the official to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think he was probably fouled. Yeah, it was just kind of, the whole thing was kind of awkward. So. Yeah, it was. Well, that's going to take us to halftime. Anyways, uh, we'll be back after this. In life, some surprises are good, and some surprises aren't. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how much cash you could earn with our Kasasa Cashback checking account. With Kasasa Cashback, you could earn 2% cash back on your debit purchases just for using the account. Plus, your ATM fees may be refunded. There's no monthly fee, no minimum balance, and no unpleasant surprises. Call First Heritage or visit us at fhfcu.org to open your Kasasa Cashback checking account today. Some restrictions apply. A Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. Yeah, Pornell up 34 to 13. Been a little bit better three-point shooting tonight from the Hornell team. <laughs> Another alley-oop. Doesn't quite work. Good hustle by number five. Brzezkowski for that. Welcome those watching on Facebook Live. Hornell's new outside shot. No good. Excellent box out by Denny. Yeah. Bath going to come with a little full, full court pressure. See, see if they can change things up and get back into this basketball game early. Nice pass by Jackson White. Oh, yeah, it came from out of bounds. Yeah, he, he, he got to call that. He was definitely out of bounds. And kind of, you see him even hop and skip when he did it. Yeah, Tanner's got to jump to the square a little bit more. He's got to get closer to the squ square when he's releasing the basketball. Shot 
Jackson White for three, no good. Nice little move by White. What'd you think, Joe? Yeah, it definitely was a travel. Uh, you know, he left off one foot, and then he did the. Well, he yeah, he didn't again. come to a hop step, so I would say it was. But again, what do I know? <laughs> nice rebound by Piccolo. White. Freeland. Up front. Oh, that was a nice take by number 21. Jordan Dietz. Yeah, you know, the, no one else breaking the pressure, but I, I think that's a good move by the, the bath coach, Bill Baker, to change things up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was a little slow getting to it, but I was waiting for something down in this end. I saw people hit the deck and there was no calls or anything, so. Ray Schwartz joining us, Amy Scotty, Ken Kellogg, Zach Kelly, another graduate of mine. He played nice basketball here for Hornell back in 86. Zach Kelly? Yep, you know, Seal Kelly and oh, okay. Luke Kelly. Sure, yeah. The older brother, or Seal's son. <laughs> Luke's older brother. Molly, Liberto's okay. brother. Yep. He's probably tuning in to watch Vinny. Been playing a heck of a game here. Liberto will zoom in on for you. There he is. Yeah, very consistent basketball player. Yep. You know what you're going to get day in, day out. I'd like to see Hornell be a little more persistent about trying to get the ball basket inside the lane. Nice, nice. pass by Jackson yep. White. Kind of a no look pass. Yep. White to Stutzman. We've talked about it. He's got he's got all facets of the game. He's yeah. gonna be excellent. Timothy Roselle joining us too. Nice steal. By White. Good hustle by Tanner to get down there. Now give him the basketball. There he does. Oh, and not sure what was going on there, but Again. he kind of bounced off him. Blake Cast with a nice take. Boy, Blake has had a great game today. And just the silent one, you yep. know what I mean? It's just amazing how he always yep. seems to get the get open and get a shot off, and he makes them. Nice take, oh, that time by Freeland, unable to get it to drop. Tanner Stutzman, got a piece of that. We're now up 40 to 19, about four and a half left in the third quarter. Travel. <laughs> yeah, and that's just the luxury Hornell has when you have most everybody on their team can handle the basketball. It makes a huge difference. Piccolo gets knocked down, so that's a good call. Yeah, a little bit of push on the shoulder there. Tommy was probably off balance, so I think there was a lot less contact there than what you would think, but yeah, that's a foul. I mean. Yeah. 
This is the first year, Joe, that in 90-something years we're not having Sunday School Basketball League. Oh, no, you're not? No. Really? We didn't, just, only had 12 no, kids just, sign up Are you year. kidding me? No. Wow, oh, that's a sign of the times, eh? Yeah, it's just a, that's a shame. Liberto, good job in there. It's fouled. No, because actually all my boys, they played high school basketball, but they also all played Sunday school basketball up until the, they couldn't anymore. Yep. So, can't um, remember if I coached. Did I coach them in Sunday school any of your kids? I can't remember. Maybe Elliot. Because I did up until last year. I was like, if it never comes back again, I won the final championship in Sunday right. school. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, isn't that something? I think they were, but we got, kind of got a late start. I think maybe next year what we'll do is um, ask Can of Steel and Arcport yes. to see if you can get 12, 10, 12 guys together, you know what I mean? And if they want to play basketball and play in a league, yep. Cornell versus Cannes to Arcport, Bath, whoever, you know what I mean? They come over one night a week mm -hmm. on a Thursday night or something. And I, I even think that um, in the regular Y Leagues, they ought to let some of the other uh, smaller towns around. I know a lot of their players play in our league, mm -hmm. but if they're struggling there, too, let a team practice in Canastillo, but yet come up and play in games. And, and right, not a bad idea, yeah. And we've talked about it before in years. If you look out throughout the years, who, who are the better basketball players in the schools around here? Mm -hmm. A lot of them played in the Hornell y, y League. Yeah, you can start back to those Genesee Valley days when they were so good. Yeah. The kids from Canastillo that were excellent basketball players that played in the Hornell Y League. A lot of missed shots right there, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's the difference in ball handling. When you when you play as a young uh, as a young kid growing up, that's the only way to learn to be, how to be a good ball handler yeah. is by actually playing. Liberto with the power rebound. White for three, yeah. and there it is. It's third of the game, Joe. Yep. Father was a good basketball player, of course, more impressively as a football player for Hornell years ago, went Division One at Maryland. Definitely a different style than his son. Yeah, his <laughs> Brett was all big muscle. Uh, yeah. I played, even recently, men's basketball against Brett. Oh, Williams. That's a technical foul. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised they didn't call it. And if you're wondering, watching this game, what we're talking about is after Jackson White hit the ball or, or uh, made the shot, he tried to knock the ball out of Binkowski's hands out of bounds, and you're not allowed to do that. And that should have been a technical foul, but. Right, and, and I see it's getting to the point where the steals are coming easy here, so. Nice shot by number 21, Dietz. Yeah, it's always a catch-22 for a coach because really Hornell has not played great. Even, I mean, they played good tonight, but they haven't played great. No. And they haven't played great <laughs> yet this season. So he knows his starters need work, but he'd probably also like to get his subs in. Yeah. Of course, he's played 10 deep so far this year quite often. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's seen time but O'Rourke. Everybody's been in but O'Rourke so far. There you 
go. A full five, five. Five off, five on, or five on, five off. Isn't that an accounting? Lifeful, fifeful, last in, first out, first in, first out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan Nichols and Isaiah Garcia in for the first time tonight, I think. Actually, my son Alex coaches modified A at Brockport, which is all ninth graders. They have two modifieds. They have like. Wait a minute, he's not in the Bronx anymore, or ever? No, he moved back. Oh, I didn't yeah, know he, that. He teaches at Brockport. I always just love that story you told me when he was, where was he, where was he in the Bronx? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And when they travel to another school, they get on the subway and they're yeah, all in their yeah. uniforms. Yeah. That's funny or not. A team of, it was girls, right? Yep. Junior uh, high girls. Junior high girls. Get on the subway, go to their next game. Yep. Oh, they probably were sad to lose him, huh? Yeah. He was kind of torn, but this position came open at Brockport High School, so he decided to take it. Especially you had a place to stay when you yeah, were in New York that's, City. Yeah, that's the killer. Yeah. <laughs> we got our fill, though. Yeah. Three years. I always, it's nice because Jonathan McFall, one of my good friends who graduated high school with me, I can stay right at his place, lives right outside the city in New Jersey. You know, stay for free, uh, get yeah. on the train, go right to the city. It's a big plus of having friends, you know, oh, yeah. that can do that. Well, give Bath credit. They're hanging in this game. They're only down 20, but they played a lot better in the third quarter. Certainly would have been easy just to pack it in. Yep. And really, Hornell just took their starters out. So. But I was saying that Brockport and the big schools in Rochester have modified A and B. So the a, modified A is kind of all ninth graders. So they don't have a JV they ninth do have, grade? They do have a JV team. You can play JVs as a ninth grader, but... Oh, okay. So the real Gilbans would. Yeah, Timmy oh. Smith with the three from the corner. saying this is the first year they haven't had Sunday school in how many years? 90 something years. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Man, I, I, they, it's fun, fun lead. Nice putback. Hess. <laughs> oh. Like we talked about, he's always there. Yep. Uh. Mr. Consistency. Hey, we've got a great team here at Maple City Dodge. Stop down and let us help you find your next favorite vehicle. I've been buying cars at Maple City Dodge since I started driving. Gary and the boys have been helpful and the process is always easy. The reason why we came to Maple City Dodge is because they're family friendly and we love their service. It's worth the drive to Maple City Dodge because we have the best sales and service and we'll prove it. Today's game is brought to you by Airtight of New York, spray foam insulation, airtightofnewyork.com, that is. 368-2842, commercial, residential, new and old construction. Need spray foam insulation? Call airtightofnewyork.com today, or log on to airtightofnewyork.com. Tim Roselle, Bill Pulos, Pulos and Roselle, 324-7333. Office is located in the Crossroads Professional Building on Main Street in Hornell. Tim Roselle, Bill Pulos, thank you for your support. Elderwood at Hornell. I lost my Elderwood paper. Oh, there it is on the ground. Ooh. One Bethesda Drive. Stop in an Elderwood. Jillio's Plumbing and Heating, 3820836. Thanks for your support. Chad Jillio and Jillio's Plumbing and Heating. Yeah, you, see their, you see their trucks all over the place. Yeah, they just rented a spot up by the old Tasty Freeze. Yeah, I see that. Up there. That was the old Stevens Auto building, I yep. think.
as Elderwood was up there. Call 324-6990 for Elderwood. Nice take that time, but couldn't get it to fall as Bish. I was up at Elderwood a week or so ago visiting one of my friends that's in there, a resident, not, you know, an older lady that I know, and they were bringing her out into the hallway because there's a lot of room in the hallway to do her walking, you know, for rehab. Sure. We go out there, two seconds later, there's like 50 people out there because they had to do something with one of the rooms. It was just funny, and they all knew each other. It was like a big social <laughs> hour. Uh, the people are great up there at Elderwood. They... Yes, I've had... Some people I knew in there, and always a professional atmosphere. 30 second timeout, give us a chance to get some more ads in. Main Street Redemption Center, get your cans and bottles in the Main Street Redemption Center, 286 Main Street, Hoyle. Open seven days a week, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, 9 to 3, Saturday and Sunday. John and Dagan, general in trial practice, 324-6690, stopping at 29 Church Street for divorce, family court, civil litigation, adoptions, criminal defense, personal energy, everything you might need, Joe. I've had to use them a few times. So. Not divorce, not criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Real estate, right? I have three boys. So. <laughs> oh, that's right. Maple City Dodge Airport Road, North Rennell. The winter blowout special is going on at Maple City Dodge, of course, Mike Palmer, plumbing and heating, air conditioning, 698-44-44. Well, three boys, you had them for adoption then, right? Yeah. <laughs> if your kids didn't look just <laughs> like you, then I would <laughs> believe you. Nice rebound by Isaiah Garcia. Connor Smith running the point for Hornell. Oh, oh travel. Yeah, he hopped. Yep. Yeah. Now, you might get away with that in Sunday school. Yes, <laughs> that's what's unfortunate. Those travels and things like that you'd get away with. No, you can't. Uh, there's one group that's happy. I did get a call from one of my friends that plays pickleball. And every year when we start Sunday school, they can't play pickleball on Thursday nights. They have to play Wednesday nights. Oh, really? And, and now they moved. So I guess they can play two nights now. So I was talking to Clayton Stutzman. So it's... Uh, um, so what's pickleball again? Is it it's, like like, a... it's like ping pong played by humans on a, on a basketball court. It's really... There's actually, it's huge down on the floor. There's, you, it was on CBS Sports, oh, really? the Pickleball Championships. That's how big it is. Hmm. It is pretty interesting. I don't know, it, it's big paddles. It's like huge, it's like ping pong. Oh, no, but it's really strange. And you know, that's what I would say. It's like ping pong on a basketball court. With You play with a big ball. Yeah. And, you know, I just can't explain it. You have to look it up. Go to YouTube sometime and... But they get a group of people that play it. Nice pass by Colin Bish. Yep. Garcia tried to. Oh, and then he's thrown away. Nice block. Oh, behind Bish. Didn't get called, though. It looks like they got Connor Smith on that ball. Well, and it used to be because we used to have a bunch of us that do just do a men's pickup basketball, and that was always. We didn't know when, you know, Sunday school and always working around that a little bit. Ashley Hogan Strikers checked in with us, so zoomed into her parents over there. Oh, there you go. It's 9 o'clock. Do you know where your parents are? They're here at the ball game. Now, where does she live? Ashley yeah, lives on Wood Street, the old Barnes house. Oh, okay. um, and you know where Wood Street is? If you come Crosby Creek, you know, past JC's, yep. you go up that way. Yep. And then you veer off to, the, to go up the hill. Oh, and the foul! Stutzman makes it count. Yep. A little push in the back by 21 Deets. Yep. 
a lot of these guys play against each other soccer and sure. We've been talking so much I never updated my score, so it's 51 to 29. I apologize. These games when they're blowouts like this, you kind of find other ways to entertain ourselves. Yep. And there's a reach by Stutzman. You wouldn't happen to know, like in front of the gas station on the corner of Genesee, today they were ahead like tents. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. No. Especially at a 7-Eleven, you know, it's not well, locally owned. You well, know, I saw, I saw um, Justin. Uh, yeah, um, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> you got me, Rectin Wall. Rectin Wall. You got me the thinking there. Cornell for partner for, for growth guy yep. around there, so I didn't know what was going on. Especially because there's not a lot of parking to have an event there. Yeah. Everyone, you know, this obviously Hornell is a great community, and we have a lot of, you know, they have that Santa's Day off. They have a lot of things, fundraisers and stuff. We're having our, next Tuesday, having our children's Christmas party for Kiwanis Club. We we're giving okay. out 80 presents to under, to, yeah, undeserving kids, for deserving kids. <laughs> and we have a pizza party in conjunction with the Moose Club. They supply the pizza and the facilities. So that's always fun. Then we do a, uh, a teen Christmas party with the bowling alley for, at the Concern for Youth. We <laughs> bus all the kids up so they can bowl for three hours. And that's just talk about. And the stuff that Justin does for the HPG and other groups do in the area, raising money. Well, the Qantas has done things for so long. Yeah, I love it. I'm president. I've been president for like 15 years. Nobody else wants it, but I love it. And you know, we the children's quarter miler, and the, sure. we built yep. the skate park. You know, Tim Roselle spearheaded that for us. Oh, oh what was going? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say no. At least they don't call a foul there. Yeah, I think when. Uh, I did bitty basketball. Yeah, obviously Kiwanis. I had Kiwanis. That, yeah, that was my they're team. They're still there. Kiwanis, Kiwanis yeah. and there's a Kiwanis baseball team. Yeah. We do the Easter egg hunt the day before. That's always a big event. Like 300 kids show up for that. I tell you, and I know even the numbers in bitty basketball are down co compared to what they used to be when we were in the old gym. But that uh, that one year back when like Austin Kelly I had in that oh, range yeah. and. Um, I think we had 12 teams in Biddy then, didn't we? Yeah, we had nine or 10 at that point. Because, yeah. I, I mean. I remember we had over 10 at one point. That was a fun year. Well, I'm sure it was. You had Austin Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was fun for you. Yeah. I always tell people I coached Biddy for 23 years, and, I, and the, 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 the least fun I had was that team with. Um, uh, Andy Marlat and Brown, they were six foot kids and we were killing every team and it's really not, you know, yeah, it's great to win the championship and stuff like that, but when no team can really, of course, we had to go against the Ripples, so that was our... Yeah, and I remember one year, I can't remember if it was being your, uh, a Biddy or Senior Biddy, we voted to reorganize because to balance out the teams. Oh, yeah, 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 we never did it in Biddy. Yeah. It was done in Senior Biddy. Yeah, which I think was a smart move. Yeah. You're able to protect one player, remember, or something? Yeah, was, right. Or yeah. two players, or something. Yeah. Well, anyway, back to the game. It's 51 and 29. And just to remind those that are watching, like I said, 1 o'clock on Saturday, we'll be doing JVs here. So Saturday, if you want to tune in. I'm not sure when Bulls, Bulls start this weekend, too, so there'll be college basketball and stuff, but wouldn't you rather watch Hornell play Pembroke? Sure. <laughs> like I said, we looked online. Pe Pe Pembroke is one and two, but they lost one of those games to, in, in overtime, and they were in all three games. Had a little little bit of video on them online. They, they look like they're a decent basketball team, so... We've all, uh, you know, it ha happens every year. You go into a, a place like Perry. I remember thinking, oh, well, you know, Perry, we should be able to beat Perry, and then they killed us. You yeah. know what I mean? You never know what we play these teams, the C schools. Yeah. I think uh, they're C1 or, C or C2, Pembroke is. Well, you just never know because, you know, those. Look at Leroy. Yeah, I mean. and those Avon teams that were good in some of those years. 
they get a group of guys that all start playing AAU basketball together yes. for about five, six, seven years, and then by the time they're on varsity, they got seven or eight guys that have played with each other for a long time. Yep. You know, it's it's hard to imagine too. You know, being in high school and not wanting to. I would have loved to play basketball if I was better. You know what I mean? I played Sunday school. I played everything I possibly sure. could. I couldn't sit home and play video games. You know what I mean? I want to be out there. And they were available back when we were kids. They had Atari and television and all that. Pong. Just, you were a Pong champ, right? Yep, I was a Pong. <laughs> I dominated all those. I was Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man. I was number one on all those. I spent thousands of my parents' dollars worth of my quarters from my parents. Is that like Space Invaders or something like that? Galaga? Well, yeah, well, Space Invaders was... And I remember seeing my very first video game going into the Moose Club my dad took me in. I can still remember. Every time I go into the Moose Club, it brings me back to that. And I was just a little, you know, I was probably 10, eh, probably 12 years old at the time. Yeah, probably uh, when we were kids. That was when, you know, that a lot of places had Space Invader tables right yeah. inside them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I always remember. It was just always fun as a kid when you went out and saw, oh, went to a restaurant or something, and there's the tabletop version yeah. of Pac-Man or yeah, something. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to, let's eat there, you know, so yeah. we can play it. And now I don't. I've never played any of those. I've never, I've never played a Sega game or anything. I figured I mastered all those years ago, and I just don't have the time. <laughs> you know, no. Your kids play games? Yeah, they they certainly did. Like I said, I, I I just struggled having any interest in it. I'd play a little bit with them, just to the point they could beat me so easily, and then I'd just have to yeah. bow out at that point. Nice take that time. He's very feisty, isn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good good defensive player. Because he's not reaching. He's moving his feet. Yeah. Well, I think they could have used him out there, you know? Yeah. He's causing a little bit of havoc for these guards. Oh. Yeah, something looked <laughs> missed there, didn't it? An outside shot. Uh, nice shot good. by Ethan Nichols. Counter or works also in the game. It's kind of neat. There's three. Three counters? No. no. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, two. players or parents I graduated high school with, you know. Well, O'Rourke's father, Aaron O'Rourke's a year older than me, but Stutzman, Danny Stutzman, graduated a year ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Freeland, Chase, his father's six years older than me, but. Nice take. Yeah, Dietz has had a nice game. Marty Piccolo, his son. Marty graduated a year ahead of me. Yeah, yeah that's the year my wife graduated. Yeah, yeah. And that's great. Nice ta tip pass that time. Clock's still running, do they know? Oh. I'd like to thank our customers, past, present, and future, for making Maple City Dodge your dealership of choice. From muscle cars to pickups, I bought my last nine vehicles here at Maple City Dodge. I'm not chased or pressured. I come here to get the vehicle that I want and at a great price. I traded in my old truck and got this one at Maple City Dodge. Got a great deal, I'm happy. It's worth the drive to Maple City Dodge because we have the best sales and service and we'll prove it. If you get hurt at work, call 262-COMP today and get the results you deserve. Connors and Ferris, your workers come attorneys. Got some new players in there for Bath. Anyone you recognize? Um, Number two. 
I got number two. My Maple City Dodge glasses on. <laughs> Nate Tail. Nate Taylor? Or Yale. Y E H L. Yale. Actually, we have a guy that worked with that last name. How about so number 20? Sure. Okay. I'm asking him because I don't have the rosters in front uh, of me. Brandon Gardner, number 20. Yep. Number 10 was Dewan Jones. And number 11, Henry or Harry Keene. And number 4? Number four is Bradley Pendle. So we have a lot of new players in. Yep. We're now just trying to use the clock. Nice passing. Oh, Ethan should have went right up with it. I think he was going to try to use the clock a little longer. but. <clears throat> so don't forget, to, uh, we'll be back live with you on Saturday afternoon. And that game was supposed to be at night. I was supposed to ring the bell for Kiwanis Club for Salvation Army. Every year our Kiwanis members take a Saturday, and this Saturday's ours. I heard that they're struggling a little bit, Salvation Army, getting, getting the numbers. So. And the weather hasn't been bad. We've no. had years where it's been hellacious. Well, I think cold. they say it's just all the, due to the, all that online shopping, comparably yeah. to people getting out there and... Oh, you mean raising money or people actually ringing? Both. Oh, okay. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Do you guys do it for DOT? or? I don't think we do. Well, if you got a spare hour, at, if you want to take a break from laying your floor. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to do it. Any final thoughts? Uh, like I said, I think Hornell got a little bit better as far as ball movement, a little bit better on so shot selection. So hopefully when they play Pembroke, because Pembroke looks like they're going to be a decent team, it car carries over on to Saturday. So that's the final, 57-35. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you Saturday afternoon starting at 1 o'clock with JV action as Hornell faces Pembroke with, and then Varsity to foul. So thanks again, Joe.